G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here and tonight we're talking about the Komen Light G carbon fibre travel tripod. It comes with a wonderful little black bag that's just vanished. Well, it's been a minute, hasn't it? The year started at a cracking pace, just losing my mind. It's been so busy. I started sick, had a couple of weeks sick after Christmas with the flu, came back home, we were visiting family, came back home and it's been torrential downpour with about a thousand percent humidity, stinking hot and everything's flooded. And so I've been hanging out to shoot outside and show you what this is like in the beautiful environment of the Gold Coast. And it is dreary, overcast, hot, tropical, gross. So I'm in the new setup of my lounge room. We swapped some of the uh, stuff around in the house and um, I'm using it as a studio. Yeah, Lindell is thrilled. So let me talk about the carbon fiber light G travel tripod from Komen. So, you may recognize that Komen made a tripod with Ulanzi. And so Komen are tripod people and Ulanzi are photography accessory people and they combined their powers. But then Komen reached out to me and said, can you, can you have a look at one of our tripods? And it's really quite impressive. There's a couple of things that you need to know if you're thinking about purchasing it. But I'll walk you through and you'll see, um, you'll see just what it can do. So it's a five piece, which means there's five individual pieces, the legs, three legs, believe it or not, because it's a tripod, yeah. Not a monopod, or a duopod, or a quad pod, but a tripod. I digress. So let's talk about the feet and work our way up. The feet are quarter 20 feet. That means you can only fit quarter 20 spikes or other accessories in. That's fine, except most tripod accessory feet are three eighths of an inch. And so if you have some other, like some claw ones that you want to fit in here, you might be a little bit disappointed. The reason they're quarter 20 is because when it gets thin down here, there's no space to put any larger tripod legs. In the middle here, we have this cool little hook, which you can use to weight down your tripod. And in it is an Allen key or a hex key that accesses all the bolts on the tripod and the entire tripod, they're all reliant on this. So you can tighten up the legs here, you can loosen the legs or tighten the legs here, you can do any other maintenance that requires a hex key with this one that lives in the middle there, screws up, it's even got a rubber band on the outside to keep it stuck. Now let's talk about the center column. Center column is really cool, it just unscrews. It's circular, it unscrews, and it enables you to go <laughs> as flat as you like to the ground. The tripod sets at three heights, and at this height, you can get super low to the ground with your camera, and then it goes to here, which gives you a medium size, and then obviously normal size, which we're all familiar with. You simply take this off or extend it by undoing this knob and pulling it out, and we need the other bit back now, which doesn't go back in because our bolts on the bottom, take that off, thread it through, secure it on the other side. So your center column is never gonna go walk about. This can go this high. The tripod stands at this cracker of a height, goes down to this cracker of a height, and basically everything in between, depending on what your needs are. You flip it around, you get out a quarter 20 accessory here, or a quarter 20 accessory here, and you've got a level up here. So let's talk about the ball head, and I'll, um, well, let me just, now let's just, See how stable this is? Put my whole weight on. I've taken this out. I've put my big lens on my 150 to 600 Tamron on my Z8 with a FTZ2 adapter, and it holds it well. It maneuvers it well. Now this has a video counterpart too. This tripod has another tripod that has a fluid head built in that I'm actually filming on today, but I'll review in a later video. So stay tuned for that. Let me know if you're interested about that. Now, come in here. The bull head is really similar to the Ulanzi configuration if you've seen my review on that. Basically as a lever here, and when that lever's loosened off, it's some grippage, so it's not loose. There's a bit of friction in there and you need to push against it, which I don't mind because you don't want your camera on here and then just flopping around. It's actually got a lot of friction in the ball and it's a little bit sticky, so I'm not sure what that material is, but it, um, it holds it nice and stiff in that space. This lever then allows us to position the base plate wherever we want, at whatever angle we want. And it's basically the only thing you actually need to worry about. So on other ones, they've got a pano under this. It doesn't have a pano function. It basically has you loosen that up, you put your camera where you want it, you lock it in and you're ready to rock. Now this is what I really like and also have a reservation about. So I like it because you push this in and look, your plate pops off and then you can 
with your camera on, click it back in, and it's nice and secure. There's no wobble, there's no movement. You can also lock it off. So you can actually push it down and it locks so this doesn't fall off, right? So look, stays nice and secure. And then you can flick it up and unlock it and it pops off. What I don't like about it is the same with all these quick release. You have 10 different quick release setups and it doesn't work for you. And here's the challenge of the tripod. So you lose this and you're in trouble because you've only got one. You leave this on another camera body and you take out a different camera body, you're in trouble because you've only got one. You can't just stick a normal Arca Swiss on here. It's specialized to Komen. It's specialized well, but you better make sure that the camera you use with this is the same camera. Otherwise you're gonna to forget to put this on the other camera. And I would love it if they had an Arca Swiss equivalent where you could just pop this off, pop an Arca Swiss on and away you go. So having said all that, the Ulanzi plates fit in here nice and comfortably. You wouldn't trust the Peak design to nice and comfortably fit, but that is an advantage if you have some Ulanzi gear that you want to pair with the Komen. So let's do a bit of a strength test and a sturdiness test. And we're looking for how much bend. There is a little bit a bend in that and the legs are fairly quite secure and you can also yeah I can't move them but you can also tighten these up to be as tight as you like because some people like them less tight and other people like them rock solid tight so they're never ever going to move even if you're the Hulk and you're trying to clamp this down now as I said before here's the piece of the bag that just vanished <laughs> it's a beautiful like um, a synthetic but nice feeling finish they've got on here. They've got the classic handles, you can go middle, top or bottom. They've also got the attachments there and it comes with a neck strap so you can hang it around your waist, you can hang it from a bag, it's quite versatile. There's no internal pockets at all, so the other spikes that come with this, you can't exactly stash them um, and you may need to just pop them in your bag so they're knocking around or in your camera bag. So I've taken this out a few times. I've really um, enjoyed my use of it. It's really smooth, it does the job properly. It's very lightweight and you can carry it around wherever you like. You do need to be careful that you don't accidentally press the button. Ah, and you want to turn, right? So you do need to make sure that once this is locked in, it's locked down. Otherwise, you're just going to hit this button and accidentally pop your camera off, and knock it on the ground. So you need to be really careful about that, especially when the change on this side is connected with the button here so my big meat hands can easily go like this so just make sure that this is locked you've also got a little bubble head sits in the middle that's really really handy when you have it locked down here but you want to turn the head you can accidentally unscrew here so make sure this is up really tight so that the turning happens from here instead of loosening this and it gets a wobbly or you lose your camera entirely if you want to go vertical you can just slide it down and go around like this but what you need to make sure is that your base plate is the right orientation to your head unit what I mean by that is if we just eject this and we put it like this when you go vertical it does this and well, unless you want to shoot up, and then it's super handy, especially if you want to lower this right to the ground and shoot up to some trees. That could be really, really creative and effective. One of the things that's to love about this tripod is it's really simple to use. You only have a couple of configurations, but they seem to do everything. You're not mucking about on different levels trying to work everything out, and you've got good um, height opportunity, and it's really quite simple and straightforward what everything should do. So I really, really like it. I want to thank Komen for sending it to me. You may be thinking, Look, I'm after, a, I'm after a decent travel tripod, carbon fiber, nice and light, still is tall, gets up to a decent height range. That's really, really tall as far as a travel tripod is concerned. You don't have to muck about it. It's all really straightforward, works nicely. Um, then this is for you. I hope this review has been helpful in, in just ironing out some of those questions you have. If you have any other questions, put them in the comments below. I'd love to chat with you there. I'll put a link in the description. Otherwise, hang around for my other video on the video travel tripod. And do you like my new hat? Yes, a different color for you today. So if you like the hats, you can check out the merch down below. If you want to join my email list, you can check that out down below. If you want to join the channel, you can, yep, you got it. You're not thick, are you? Thanks heaps for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, ring the bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. At all. You can also lock. Ah, oh, land on my toe. Land on my toe.